So I'm feeling pretty godly today, and yes, apparently that is a feeling you can have. So I'm going to take this little idiot here and turn him into complete perfection. And of course we know that every perfect creature is actually a carnivore. So we're basically just going to eat absolutely everything that comes near us. Or that we go near. While staying away from the larger ones. Like that one. But perfection isn't something that just comes easily. You have to earn it. So we'll just keep going. Well, we can now add some spikes to a creature. So I'm thinking we'll just put them to the back. And we're now already out of points. But I am a god, so points be damned. So let's add some more spikes. I accidentally made the eyes a bit too big. But I can actually make them bigger. And do we need two eyes or just one eye? Maybe we just need a one all-seeing eye in the middle. And I'm also thinking just to make the creature nice and small so that it's really nimble within the water. I think we'll give it some more mouse as well. Oh yes, right, lots more mouse then. It's actually beginning to look a little bit like a chainsaw. And we can give it some more speed. Lots more speed actually. I want the fastest, nimblest creature in the ocean. Well that will do for now then. Let's give it a paint job. And I need something that's going to scream danger and that you know that you're in trouble whenever this thing comes near. And I think that's going to do then. It's definitely got its stealth mode activated, now being the same colour as the water surrounding it. And we will call this magnificent creature Perfect Clops. That is a really, really stupid name. But we're going with it. Right, my creature. Let's go eat. And holy crap, we are fast. Come here, you. I just wish we had a better turning circle to eat more of these Muppets. Well, we got those ones, though. And we'll stay away from the big guy, although we just grew ourselves. Am I feeling brave? Nope, nope, nope. Is the answer definitely nope is the answer. Although you got me killed last time, so you are definitely going to die. This creature definitely has a lot of mouse, so we definitely need to get him fed. Here's two willing subjects here. There's one, and... Ooh, there's the second one, just as we grow up as well. Even more things for us to eat. Hello! Goodbye. Here's someone wanting a fight, right? Oh, oh, actually, okay, right, I take it back. I don't want to fight. I'm just going to eat instead. And him. I do have spikes, but I just need to kind of reverse myself into this, and I'm a bit too fast for my own use. So my turning circle's a bit off. So we've already found the first teething issue. Right, let's remove some of the mouse here and maybe add some spikes instead, just so we have some frontwards defense. And I can make the spikes a lot bigger. Okay, that's also changed things. I think we'll move the eye down the front, get rid of another set of mouse, and instead put some spikes down the side here too. So we are really defended on all ends here. And we'll just have one solitary spike right at the end as well. Just so we have some good back end defense. Well, time to give this one a test run. And here's our very first target. So long as I can get behind him, I can stab him from the sides like that. And then we will eat all of his juicy meat. So far this design's a little bit better. I'm certainly able to cause a lot more damage to things. And if they're stupid enough to run into me, they get damaged themselves. Now you come back here. In fact, I don't really even need to move. I don't even think the big guy can hit me either. This is the perfect defense and offense. Oh, I just need to make sure that I am facing the right way though. As long as my spikes are on this side, they should not be able to damage me. Although I can damage other things once I push them into them. Okay, the big guy's nearly down. And there he's down. That's what you get. It means we have a new part to play with. A jet. We will look into that just after we eat this guy. Well, the jets are going to give us a lot more speed actually compared to the flagellas. So let's get rid of these ones and get some jets. And we'll just place lots of these on the back end just to ensure that we are the fastest in the ocean. I'm also thinking that it's maybe time for another paint job. And we'll maybe go for a different tack this time, seeing as the stealth one didn't really work out for us. And we'll go for bright and luminous, so that everything can see us coming. Look at you with your pathetic bun jet, but I'm going to catch up with you rather quickly. Yep, told you. And we have another big contender here, so I'm just going to stick myself into the side of you and stab you to death with my spikes, whilst eating inside your brain. How does that sound? Don't think you like that. Ooh, poison. This is working out really well so far, actually. Even this guy with the one jet, the pathetic one jet, well, is actually getting away from me. Wait, how, how are you faster? Come here. That's better. Well, this idiot here tried to eat me from the side, but got a face full of my spikes. So now he's dead. And we have grown again. Oh, now the big guys are little small guys, and we are so much faster. That's another part by the looks of it, so excuse me chaps as I murder you and go for this part. Don't be running away, because there's no point, I am faster. Although I really don't like the poison. 
I just ate that one in one gulp. Well, we'll call our mate over and see what else we can perfect. Well, I've changed the eye out, and this creature already looks so much more intimidating. And we can add some Celia here to allow us to turn faster as well. So I may remove some of the jets and just put on some more control. I'm also going to put on some poison glands, so let's maybe stick that about there so we've got them at the front. Maybe at the back as well. I also think I've maybe done this creature a disservice by making it so small because I can't seem to add more body parts to it. Well, we can rectify that pretty quickly. And that's definitely done the trick. I can now add more poison glands to the front of it. In fact, let's add a mouth to the very back of it as well. Get rid of this jet. And add some poison glands there as well. So that we can attack and eat anything from either end. That's actually given me an idea. Could we make this creature symmetrical? Yes is the answer by the looks of it. Also, its design has given me another idea, and that now looks a lot better. Soon it will be crashing moons into the planet, and now that it has two eyes, Perfect Clops didn't really cut it. Well, let's test out our new symmetrical beast, which is very, very fast actually. And there's another one of our kind already. We are incredibly fast and we can manoeuvre ourselves on a dime as well. And we're pretty deadly, no matter which end we're hitting from. Yes, we are basically just up and murdering absolutely everything that comes in our path. Except the big guy. And that guy. But the rest of these guys, just nice and tasty. Although we're bigger again, so let's take on eyeballs, which we can actually. Well, we were doing an okay job of this. Uh, please don't be inside his mouth. Okay, we seem to be stuck inside his mouth at the moment. I'm not really sure how to get out. Oh, oh we go right inside him actually. Okay, that's, that's making us marginally worse. Oh, killing him from the inside. That's what this creature's all about. This one might be a bit out of our wheelhouse for now. I mean, we can only try. Would you like to eat me as well? I promise you, I'm not that poisonous. I mean, I did just force myself into its mouth. I don't know what else I was thinking. At least we can kill eyes here with no issue. Yes, don't be running. Just be dying. See, my friend's got the same idea, except he just got completely devoured. Right, do this into me then. Let's see this work out well for you. Not so tough now that you're dead. This creature is practically unstoppable. The only thing that really brings it down is the fact that I'm controlling it. But apart from that, it's pretty unstoppable, I would say. This guy's going to get it eventually. All I need to do is basically just swim in a straight line and either my spikes will kill them I'll go inside my mouth and I'll eat them, or my poison will kill them from behind. This is the ultimate killing machine. Symmetry in nature is a beautiful thing. Hello, this is a new one. No, no, come back. Come back. Well, we got a new part somewhere, I think. Yes, that is there. We got proboscis. That's a herbivore thing. We don't need any of that. We just need more of these guys in our mouth. Even our creature knows how perfect it is. Look at it just swimming along so magnificently. It knows that it's the top predator of the sea. And we found a little colony of our own people, and that one there is trying the right technique, just not doing it very well. Let me show you how this is done. You just need to insert yourself into the mouth without being damaged, like that. Or you could just simply penetrate from behind. That works equally as well. It doesn't matter which end we hit them from, so long as we hit them from an end that isn't exposed, we should be able to eat everything in here and not die. Well, ignore that one. And here's another big guy wanting to eat us. Go on then, come munch. That was maybe a bit too hard to munch. Take some poison instead then. And some stabbing over the eyes. No, don't be running. You started this. Come back. Let me munch on your eyes a bit. Yes. Tasty, tasty eyes. Does your friend want to go as well? Oh, this is trouble. This is trouble. This is trouble. Well, he's gone. I'm trying to get out, but this is kind of turning me around in circles. No, 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 we're fine. No design flaws, no idea what you're talking about. We'll also not talk about that. Well, we've grown some more, and now these big guys here aren't so big anymore. Not that they were an issue to begin with, but at least now they're going to enter a mouse just a bit easier. Yes, you guys really are not so brave anymore, are you? Oops. There's the big guy back again. Uh, and managed to kill me from the side. This is going swimmingly. I've no idea what you're talking about. I really don't know if I can perfect much more on this creature. I mean, it is an unstoppable killing machine whenever I'm not having it killed. And I am determined to kill this big guy. 
So just you keep coming into my poison and my spikes as well. Although in saying that, I did just get an electrocution thing, so I may add some electricity to this magnificent creature. Right after we kill this one. So now we should be even deadlier. And here is our jarhead friend. How do you like me now? Not so much at all. And even the mini electric ones are just a nice bite. Just so long as I manoeuvre myself to the side, I can usually get my spikes into them. Like that. And then we can eat their nice goodies. I wonder if I can bite this guy from behind. He's not really well defended there. Let's see if we can get him. Oops, right. We'll try not die. But we'll head back in and see if we can get them. That's exactly what you get for your friend killing me. Look at the size of eyes now. So small. So very, very tasty. And I'm bigger again, so now these puffer fish are definitely my target. Yeah, I get electrocuted as well there. No chance. This species is magnificent. Just get out of the way. But we have another new contender. We'll not talk about that one either. Look at this poor creature here. Desperately trying to get away. But it stands no chance against us. Because now it's dead. Oh, it had some kids. Oh, well, let's just quickly kill those as well. See, I used to have a similar design to you, but we are so much more perfected where we are now. That's why you're dead and I'm not. And you are actually the biggest creature I think we've seen. Can we take you on? He doesn't look happy with me no matter what. I wish the little guy would go away. Oh no, mouth! Well, there's still some teething issues. Literally. But I still think we have created utter perfection here. The most unstoppable killing machine. And now, we even have a brain. So we're going to become even more unstoppable. But just look at the sheer amount of kills from the final evolved creature. We have certainly made perfection today.